Every year, the experts at U.S. News & World Report rank the nation's best hospitals. They've recognized St. Vincent as the number one hospital in Arkansas and listed eight clinical areas as high-performing specialties. The next closest Arkansas hospital only had three. This recognition is due to the unwavering commitment of our world-class physicians, dedicated nurses, and associates who have now made St. Vincent the state's number one hospital. Welcome back here to Good Morning Arkansas. We have Dr. John Collarin with St. Vincent Heart Clinic Arkansas joining us to talk about broken heart syndrome. It's a serious condition. Yes, it uh, is. You know, as a teenager, you think it's just, you know, <laughs> your girlfriend dumped you. But it's an actual, what is broken heart syndrome? A broken heart syndrome is a disorder um, that causes temporary abnormal enlargement and weakening of the heart muscle. Uh, usually extreme physical or emotional stresses are the triggers for this disorder. Usually it occurs with very traumatic circumstances or situations, such as the loss of a loved one. However, recently, researchers at the University of Arkansas have found a link between broken heart syndrome and natural disasters such as the really? tornado we just had this past Sunday. So that may be something some people may actually suffer that have been ravaged by the tornado. Uh, yes, and uh, oftentimes it is associated with um, very extreme natural disasters. Uh, actually, during the time of this study, two states had very high rates of broken heart syndrome, or Takasubo's cardiomyopathy is what, what we call it. Mm -hmm. um, those states were Vermont and Missouri. Uh, Vermont sustained tropical storm Irene, and Missouri had a very large uh, tornado in Joplin. Joplin, Missouri, which was an EF5 tornado. Yes. What are the symptoms of, of a broken heart syndrome? Uh, symptoms are very similar to what people experience when they're maybe having a heart attack. Oftentimes it brings them to your emergency room. Uh, they develop chest pain, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, dyspnea, exertion, fatigue, decreased exercise tolerance. And those symptoms are similar to what we see when people have heart attacks or congestive heart failure. I was going to ask you, how do you know the difference between the two if they're so similar? Uh, well, we do further testing. And oftentimes when patients come into the hospital, we can't tell the difference. Uh, their electrocardiograms show changes that are similar to having a heart attack. Also, blood tests called cardiac enzymes are sometimes elevated, and those may be similar to what happens when people have a heart attack. However, cardiac testing, such as uh, cardiac catheterization, gives us more information, and typically we see what's called apical ballooning of the left ventricle and no significant coronary disease. So is it as serious as a heart attack? It can be very serious initially. Many people are placed in the intensive care unit or cardiac care unit, monitored very closely. Uh, they can have heart failure, cardiac arrhythmias, and stroke. So it is a serious condition. But the good news is over about a month or two, most of these people return to their usual selves and their heart improves. So how do you treat it? We treat it a lot of times similar to what, the way we treat heart attacks or congestive heart failure. Usually we treat the symptoms uh, and if they develop any adverse uh, abnormalities such as cardiac arrhythmias, we treat those with medications. Typically, it's medications that we treat it with. So, but it, it can be fatal if it's not treated, right? It can be, and people can sustain life-threatening arrhythmias. Why doesn't this affect more people? I mean, I'd, I've never met somebody with broken heart syndrome. I always, you know, people, I know people who have a heart mm -hmm. attack, mm -hmm. but I mean, why isn't this more prevalent? Or well, is it, and we just don't know it? Well, it, in areas that are prone to natural disasters, it's felt that people may be preconditioned or adapt to these disasters. Uh, however, in other areas, such as Vermont and Missouri at the time that this study was done, um, those people may not be preconditioned to natural disasters uh, and it, because of this extreme emotional stress that they go through, they may develop this condition. That is some fascinating stuff. And I think we have your information we want to put on the screen here. Uh, Dr. John Collar in here is at the St. Vincent Heart Clinic here in Arkansas. That's located on uh, Canis Road here in Little Rock. The phone number is area code 501 Two five five six thousand. That's area code five zero one two five five six thousand. So that's something that uh, people need to be watching out for. If your friends uh, and families well, or volunteers. Well, with our, our recent uh, natural disaster tornado, we have to be aware of people coming to the emergency rooms with this syndrome. All right, and know the difference between that and the heart attacks. Yes. No, regardless what it is, seek medical attention. Absolutely. Thank right. you so much for coming on All the right. show. All right. Thank you. All right.